All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. fight in other divisions certainly doesn't at 170 pounds but now with all the contenders behind him there is one man left standing it is this man the number one welterweight contender now getting his shot at the dominant champion and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world and he is out to prove it right here right now welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. McGregor is five years the elder. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the challenger, Paddy the Baddy Pimpler. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion All 
right, here we go. UFC Welterweight Championship is up for grabs right now. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Right on the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that strike, and he does it again in this big spot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Trying to kick the leg out. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, huge block. A little single collar tie there. Oh, man, look at that. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow, oh! You can get out of there, come on! Don't give up, don't give up! <laughs> the sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Now into his mouth. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel. Oh, now he's in trouble. And that will do it. He's done, he's done. Yeah, that is high level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke and new! number one contender he leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world and i say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion he submitted the guy and rather emphatically so you're looking at him that is the new ufc welterweight champion and as he celebrates in the corner you can't help but think 
that this could be an extended run for him here at 170 pounds.